Welcome back guys, my living room is a complete mess. We got projects behind me, we got fish to add over to the nano tank. Let's just go ahead and start with something because I got a ton of stuff to do today and not a lot of time. I pick up these awesome pieces of spiderwood at my local fish store guys. Check these out, so flip this one around here. They clearly have a base and just look at all that branch, man. Some serious branch on that piece. Pretty tall too, I'd say about two feet. And then we have this smaller one down here. The only thing I wish is that they had a little bit more 3D to them. They're kind of flat in that they're, you know, very singular in their plane, but I think they're gonna be really cool. My uh, local fish store owner is gonna be on the lookout for some more huge pieces for me because I need them for an upcoming rescape. There's some stuff going on over here too. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's slide over here to this super messy part of the room. I still, I just, I can't even get my life together, you know? Like, there's rocks everywhere, some milk. I didn't finish my milk. Like, what, what am I doing? Anyway, let's see what we got here. Also at the fish store, picked up some new fish, some new nanos to go into the nano tank with the chili rasboras, which are hiding somewhere back there. There you can see a few. But we need to get some bottom feeders down here, so we got some pygmy quarries. We got six of them. You can't see them very well. They're already temperature acclimated, so we're gonna go ahead and pour them in the tank, and then we'll check them out. In you go, little guys. Swim free. I think we got them all. Nope, there's one left in there. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There we go. He likes it in there a lot better. These guys are freaking out right now. But look at how tiny they are. I mean, that's a grain of fluval stratum. Right? For size comparison, these guys are crazy tiny. I mean, they're bigger than the chili rasboras, that's for sure. Those are some super tiny fish, but man, these guys are just super, super cool. Look at them. They're gonna have lots of food to pick off of that substrate. You can see that there's, you know, there's algae all around it. There's a little bits of detritus throughout the aquarium. They're gonna be they're gonna be stoked to live in this little tank. I'm really getting nano fish itis. Like I just love these types of really tiny fish. There's so many more that I wanna get my hands on. And that kind of brings me to the next part of today's video, which is the other really tiny tanks I just got. So over here, there are a couple of things to look at. Let's move this piece of wood. So here is the first small tank. I believe this is like a three, it's like a 3.1 or something like that. It's pretty small. You can see I already have it kitted out here with a little Azu HOB. And then that's just another little internal filter that I was trying to decide which one would be best. And I think I'm gonna go with the hang on back. Primarily because we have the sponge here. We can, you know, if we're having tiny fish in here, or maybe even shrimp, we don't wanna have, you know, a huge filter intake like that. I mean, that's not huge, but it's huge to nano fish, right? And then I have a planted uh, Phoenix LED up here. You guys know that I use these, but I also have been messing around with these other smaller lights. We'll get down to that tank here in just a second. But for this tank, I'm thinking about using bamboo in this and keeping it really simple. So I'm not 100% sure yet. How many of you guys use this, you know, this classic bamboo in your aquariums. You've seen me put it into the tops of HOB filters and stuff like that. You know, obviously you can't submerge this stuff all the way. You can just, you know, you can have up to where the, the leaves start to come out. But how cool would that be if we just had like a little bamboo forest throughout this tank? So that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know what I want to do in this aquarium because I have this paludarium down here. So this is also, I don't even know how much water this thing holds, but it's also really small. And you'll notice that it has the glass backing. So I'll have to test and see how much water this takes. It can't be much more than, it can't be more than like a 1.5 gallons. 
but I don't know. We'll have to find out. Um, I also need to pick, you know, I, I just got this LED up here. I think that'll work, but it depends. You know, if I'm gonna be growing pond style plants out of this thing, then I'm gonna need a much higher light, uh, meaning, you know, not strong, but a higher positioned light or sunlight. So here I have a window out to the backyard, which doesn't get a ton of sun. It's basically just the morning sun and then it's, it hits the house and goes over. But I don't know. I don't know what I want to do yet, but I'm preparing for the spring because we're going to be doing some pond related stuff, some, some mini pond related stuff outside this summer. So I'm gearing up and I'm kind of, you know, getting my feet wet with an indoor pond first. So that way when we transition, we go outside and we do outdoor pond stuff then we have some experience under our belt. So that's a work in progress. This whole area, I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's a nightmare. So let's stumble back over here. Let's see how our Corys are doing. Hey buddy, what's up? Everybody just likes to hide in this back corner. I don't know what the deal is, but those guys are chilling. I want to get some more chili rasboras or some other uh, dwarf rasboras in this tank really fill it out just have some more stuff schooling around in here but then we have the 33 still doesn't have any new fish in it but we're getting closer getting very close all right i'm taking my time the carpet is doing crazy good remember we hacked it back that tall stuff has continued to grow but very slowly but now we got all new growths on this stuff it's just looking so good it's crazy guys absolutely crazy so we're gonna be doing some work on that tank very soon let's fly on over to the other side of the room check out the peacocks they're also doing pretty good there's my big boy right there or that's not my boy where's my boy at he might be hiding he's got the uh, the flat the flat snout if you will a big dog, he's hiding somewhere. These fish have been really, really fun to keep. They're fairly active. I mean, they're pretty much always, at least in the middle of the tank, they don't hang out at the bottom and hide a ton. So it's been nice to sit back and have this tank to look at. Been dealing with a little bit of algae in here. And what I do is I come down here where I keep my toothbrush that I brush my actual teeth with, of course. And, and I just work on the glass Whenever I have algae, some of these spots down here are really hard to reach with uh, you know, a magnet scrubber or even your hand. So this toothbrush really helps. And then also for getting algae off of the dragon stone, as well as the moss balls, you can kind of lightly brush it and a lot of it'll come off. So the toothbrush has been something that's helping me in a lot of my tanks to deal with some of the, just like the routine algae that comes up. And uh, I think it's something that everybody should have. So another example is down here, whenever I get algae like way back here, there's no way I can get my hand back here, but I can come back here and I can, I can just do work on it and get it off of there. Toothbrush game, strong over here. We'll let these guys hang out though. We don't want to bug them too much. Let's head back into the aquarium lab and do a little update on the puffer fish tank, which you guys recently got to see the rescape of. Here we are at puffer cave rock house tank place. All the Anubias doing pretty well. There are puffer fish in here, I swear. Where are they? I just saw one off camera. There we go. Where'd you go, dude? There's one, one of my skinnier puffer fish. There's one in here and I think it's this guy who's just a little too thin for my taste. I hope that he doesn't have any kind of parasites. I might have to treat the tank one more time, but everybody else is looking pretty good. Like, you know, that guy looks normal. Homies in the back look pretty good. He's way back there though. It's been actually about like a week and a half since I did the work on this aquarium. And so far, you know, the moss is doing pretty good. A little bit of algae up there at the top, but that's, you know, to be expected. It's right under the light source. I've been keeping the Kessel super low. So it's almost, let's see if I turn it, that's increasing. So if I turn it down, what's the best way to show this? It's, it's a little bit less than halfway as far as the intensity goes. And I think it really just helps, everything in the tank appreciates it. So that's how I'm running it. 
You know, I've been feeding a ton of snails. I don't think there's gonna be any chance for a snail population to grow in here unless I add some real big ones and like literally go and hide them in the back, like just stuff them down into plants to where they can't get got right off the bat. But even then, I'm not 100% sure. So I'm just doing the normal thing, blood worms, throwing in some snails every once in a while. Everybody's doing pretty good. I'm thinking about moving the nano tank here to somewhere where I get to see it a little bit better. It's kind of low over here. And I don't know, I just don't get to spend enough time looking at it. I think it's a pretty cool scape. And now that my plan is to add more cool fish to it, I'm thinking it needs a new home, but I gotta figure that out. I wanna have something that's like close to my desk, but that room in there, the uh, aquarium lab, is getting pretty full. There's not a lot of real estate in there, so I need to I need to kind of brainstorm some better ways to show off these smaller tanks. And I'm gonna have to rename this tank something because pretty soon here I'm gonna have more than one nano tank, so obviously can't call this the nano tank anymore or else people are gonna get confused, including myself. So, if you have any ideas for the name, I know I ask you guys a lot about like what to name tanks and then I don't really get back to you, but I do pick a lot of the names that you pick and I'll, I'll do, I'll be better about sharing that information with you. So, but seriously, if you guys are new to keeping aquariums and you want to do something that's in the nano realm, this is a super good example, I think, of what you can do with a limited amount of things. So obviously we have a tank, we have a light, and we have a filter, and that's it. I mean, really, we have two things plugged in. This power head is our filter. It has a big sponge down below it, and it creates more than enough flow throughout the aquarium, because this is, you know, like a three gallon tank. And our light is probably a little bit of overkill, but I think it throws a nice color temperature and makes things look nice in the tank. It's super simple, and that's what I really like about this. I'm a, you know, I, I kind of started out with big tanks, but now I'm really enjoying these smaller ones, and I think that, you know, it just, it allows me to do what I like to do more, which is scape stuff, and it is a challenge to scape smaller things, but it's been really fun, you know, and it just gives me the opportunity to do more things. So, if you guys love nano tanks, let me know in the comments why you like nano tanks so much. I just, man, I just, they're just fun. I wanna get some different color boosts in here too to kind of break it up, but I am liking just the kind of like green and red in this tank. I do need to get some more moss and kind of cover up some of these bare areas. I think that would make it a little bit better. But beyond that, it's just gonna be getting some more mid to top level swimmers in here. And that's pretty much all we need to do. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed today's crazy run around, kind of just talk about random stuff, fish video. Sorry it didn't have more of a point. I mean, we did add some new fish, so I hope you thought that that was at least semi-cool. Uh, I got a ton of stuff I just have to clean up and get things in order here, and then I promise I will do an All My Tanks video. It's so overdue, you guys probably, uh, especially if you're new, you have no idea what tanks what and where it is and what's in it and all that stuff. So I will be doing that very soon. One more tank to set up and I promise we will do it. Okay, thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload the next video. Don't forget to check out Aqua Pro's merch. Thanks guys. We'll see you next time.